Just in the third week of first year of MSQE course, Reliance came for internships and I cleared the written test. I cleared the group discussion and I was up for personal interview. And in the personal interview, amongst the many questions they asked, one question was, why did you choose MSQE? Is it only because of mathematics? To that I replied, not really. And yes, my response was not really convincing. And yes, I have now made a video on why I chose MSQE. So if you haven't watched that, just check it out from here. So if, if I could just rewind the time clock, I could have just sent them this link that just go and watch my video on why I choose MSQE. But yes, they did understand few of my traits that I like mathematics and probably mathematics is the only thing for which I have come to MSQE. But the answer has many layers. It's not so black and white simple. So why did I choose MSQE is something which I've already covered. And the main reason is that I like a bit of economics, finance, analytics, numbers, statistics and all those things. So the idea here is let's not get into the why part because I've already covered that in a previous video. Now let's understand who should actually do MSQE and who should do it is not dependent upon your eligibility criteria. So don't start asking me in the comments that I'm doing BCom. Am I eligible? My 12th percentage is this much. Am I eligible? I did not take mathematics in class 12. Can I appear for this? I'm bad at maths. Am I eligible for this? Because the answer to all of them is go and check out the admission prospectus because I have no further information than what they have all written in that particular document because I am not an ISI authority. Yes, I would like to be straight and blunt rather than uh, give you some kind of a half-baked information and that is my true nature. I believe in true and trustworthy information than some kind of a half-baked guess. Now comes the part who should do this course? Who is this course for? This course is ideally suited for someone who has already some idea about economics and finance and wants to get a good grip on the mathematical and statistical tools to do research on economics and finance. Now you may say that I am an engineer. How do I know that I have some kind of an idea about economics? Now it's a very simple answer to that. If you have done any kind of course on economics or read any kind of book on pop economics or any kind of article on economics or maybe you have read a book which has some reference to concepts of economics. Now this could give an idea that you have some interest or knowledge in economics and then it is about how have you followed it up. So if you have given at least 40 to 50 hours of your time in studying economics and finance only then you should watch this video from here on or else you should stop thinking about MSQ altogether because if you can't even spend 40 hours for economics and finance then you really need to rethink that what you are really interested about because it's not only about finding a course and trying to fit yourself through that course it's about finding yourself and trying to find the course which will align to that self. So if you have given around 50 to 60 hours of your time on economics and finance, then my next question will be how have you followed it up? What more have you read in economics and finance? Now that could be a textbook on economics and finance or it could be trying to find the history of economics or trying to watch a lot of videos on economics and finance and why they are relevant and maybe trying to understand careers in economics and finance. All these things count. So if you have done these many things, that is a kind of a good hurdle to cross. And then I will ask you how comfortable are you with maths and statistics and what would you do if your economics research will be 90% predominantly maths and 10% of economics or finance. And if you get some kind of a jittery feeling because of the maths involved, then definitely this course is not for you. So if you are wanting to get your hands dirty with mathematics and statistics and do your economics research, then definitely this course could be a good prospect for you. Now, how do you decide that you are good or comfortable in maths and statistics? 
again the test is pretty simple it's the amount of hours the amount of energy amount of focus the amount of passion you put behind your mathematics and that can be shown by the amount of things which you have done in mathematics till now i watch a lot of videos on mathematics and science and i also practice a lot of numericals on economics finance mathematics and physics on a daily basis now this is because i have some kind of an interest in those subjects and all are linked with mathematics so this is the kind of thing which you should look at that where you are devoting your energies towards now let us say a lot of your time is spent in watching or reading about sports about film making about graphic designing then probably this course is not for you you need to find out what really motivates you so if i have to again tell you the summary of the video so far have you given good amount of introductory time investment to economics of 40 50 hours then have you followed it up with some kind of an involvement in economics and finance by watching few videos reading articles uh, researching about career options then have you given some amount of time on a daily basis to mathematics and mathematics related subjects in the past one year now if you have some kind of an idea that you are filling these three criteria then definitely you need to give a shot at msqe now you need to look at the syllabus of the msqe entrance and the core structure of msqe and then you can go one more step now, now what is the next step the next step is you need to research about the course through people who are doing this course i mean yes i have done that course but if you try to reach out to me then the answers might be a bit biased so maybe i will give you more of either a very positive side of it or a negative side of it or i would like to uh, make you do the scores i would or i would like you to not do the scores but it will definitely have some kind of a bias just because i have some kind of a skin in the game which is known as this youtube channel now what you should do is find out people on facebook linkedin or through your social network that who are doing this course now they will be able to guide you that what it really takes to qualify for this exam and what happens in the exam but yes if you want just a kind of a basic idea that what happens in msqe i have made a video on that as well you can check it out from here now after you do this basic kind of a research and you still feel that you would like to do the course msqe then you have to commit yourself that you will prepare for the course for at least one full year and let's say you are watching this video uh, when the msq exam is just two months uh, away or just three months away then don't worry about it two months three months five months it does not matter whatever time you have with yourself that is all you have and give your best and for people who have more than 7 8 months 9 months or 10 months for them it's the best spot you have a lot of your time to manage your preparation now what about the preparation how do you prepare for this course i have made a lot of videos on that as well so i will attach the links to that uh, preparation videos in the description box you can check out them after you watch this video now when you watch those preparation videos you will understand what kind of an investment it requires now if if you are not ready for that investment of time you should not do this course msqe but if you feel that you have something in you a fire which is burning in you that you have to have to do this msqe course and you are willing to put that energy and time into the msqe preparation for the coming 7 8 months or one full year then definitely you are going to do the course and you must do the course and this kind of people are the best suited people to study in msqe and i have made this video only for those people who have come so far once you decide that you have to do msqe then automatically the universe will align itself towards your preparation and you will get through so do not worry if you ever face trouble in any kind of preparation related ideas do reach out to me and if i can help you i'll definitely help you out 
but yes you will need to put in your hours and you will need to practice practice and do a lot of practice and why practice because if you want to be a topper in msq exam or any entrance examination or rather any competitive exam or any competitive thing in life you have to practice practice like your life depends on it and i have made a video on that as well you can check it out from here that is all i had to say in this video